Airbus A380 is one of the most technologically advanced commercial airliners in the world. The technologies used in the design of this machine were not existing 20 years ago. But for its design team, redefining the limits of modern aviation meant overcoming some seemingly impossible engineering challenges. They told everybody in the world that they will build the, the biggest aircraft in the world, so it was quite a challenge for them. And one of their biggest challenges relates to the plane's record-breaking size. The forces that an airplane are subjected to on, on any flight are severe because it's having to expand, it's having to contract, it's having to deal with extreme temperatures. Even the aircraft is actually getting torsional effects on itself while it's flying through turbulent situations. Since the 1920s, aluminum has been the material of choice for aircraft skins. It's flexible, strong, and light. But when you're building the largest commercial airliner in the world, every ounce counts. Just the paint alone weighs half a ton. If the whole airplane had been made from the traditional aluminum, it would have been catastrophic to the design. It would be way too heavy. They would have had to have bigger engines, they would have had to have bigger wings, it would have burned a heck of a lot more fuel, and it wouldn't fly very far. Decreasing the weight by reducing the thickness of the aluminum skin wasn't an option. Engineer Ben Evans demonstrates why in his lab at Swansea University. So this gun is going to fire these baseballs at high speed at our target in the stand and we'll find out how much damage they do. This aluminum sheet is approximately half the thickness of a traditional aircraft skin. <laughs> wow, let's have a look and see what's happened. And there's the damage. It's deformed this by a good five centimeters or so. So really quite a lot of damage with that impact on the aluminum sample. The designers of the A380 needed a material that was as strong as traditional aluminum, but lighter. They needed to find materials that can create such a large aircraft that wouldn't weigh like a tank. Solving this engineering conundrum would have been impossible mm -hmm. without the trailblazing work of a great engineer from the past. In the 1930s, American engineer Virginius E. Clark created an alternative to aluminum. He infused birch board with phenolic resin and laminated it under extreme heat. He called this new material Duramold. Used in Howard Hughes' enormous spruce goose seaplane, Duramold was one of the earliest and most successful examples of an aviation composite. Composites are made up of more than one material and take advantage of the best of both worlds. What we're going to do to prove this is the case is impact test a composite. This composite is a woven carbon fiber infused with epoxy resin. The same thickness as the aluminum Ben tested earlier. Ooh, literally nothing. Well, so that impacted impact in right here, bang in the middle. In fact, there's absolutely no sign that any damage has been done. So these are the results. This is the composite, this is the aluminium, the same impact force, but look at the damage on the aluminium. So that is a result for the composite. Aluminum. A lighter material and a stronger material. And that is why this stuff is being used by aerospace engineers today.
To build the world's largest passenger plane, engineers took Virginia's Clark's innovations with composites to the next level. They developed a brand new material for the Airbus A380, glare, reinforced with glass fiber. It's thinner than aluminum. The composite materials that make up this aircraft, they're as strong as the traditional materials, and they're as flexible as the traditional materials as well. To give an example of how sturdy they are, there's more than one ton of air pushed inside this aircraft when it's flying, when it's pressurized. The use of glare reduced the overall weight of the A380 by 15 tons, allowing this massive plane to be light enough to fly. If they hadn't used glare or a similar composite, the aircraft that we have today probably wouldn't exist. The A380 may be able to fly, but its ideal wingspan is too large for the world's airports. So designers had to take a classic engineering solution. Often in engineering, the simple solutions are the best solutions. And give it a 21st century twist. 